What does beauty mean? All that they eulogize with a brutal discord. Welcome to a new edition of the Neon Jazz Interview Series with New York-based jazz vibraphonist Yuhan Su on the 2023 CD, Liberated Gesture. We caught up with her to see how she got through COVID, upcoming projects, and her latest album. It is her second release for Sunnyside and fourth album overall that is a follow-up to her CD, City Animals, from 2018. That's when we caught up with her first... It's great to dig in again. Enjoy this interview. <laughs> well, it's great to catch back up with you um, mm -hmm. and, and to talk about the brand new album. I, I know that we caught up before. I think we caught up about City Animals and kind of talked a little bit about your life. And I just kind of want to hone in a little bit more on this interview with your latest album, Liberated okay, Gesture, yes. and mm -hmm. to kind of talk about getting through the pandemic. So how did you get through the last three and a half years of the pandemic, and how did it change you? Oh, actually, I think the pandemic experience is very different for me uh, with everybody because, I mean, in the beginning, I was in New York for like three months with the lockdown, and that was very intense. I also wrote a song called Siren Day in this, in this record about that, that experience, and then, but after that, actually, I, I went, I went to Taiwan, stayed there for a year, and then Taiwan was doing an amazing job in the beginning of pandemic. We don't, we don't actually have a pandemic. <laughs> if you remember, there's like maybe like one, two countries have like zero case during that time. Then, so I was be able to play actually a lot uh, in in the local scene there during the time. So it's like opposite with everyone. So it was very interesting. But uh, so in these three years, I move around a lot. I I was in Paris doing a residency. I was in New York. I went to Taiwan for a year. So this record is it's like a collection of the songs I I, I wrote like over all these different times and locations. With liberated gesture, you know, does how does it feel? to have this album out, it, it came out, you know, as this pandemic was coming to an end, live music was happening. What's the overall feeling with this release? I mean, definitely feel it was, it was actually hard to release the record because, like, uh, we are, like, technically, like, there are um, a lot of records, like, people, you know, people write a lot during the pandemic. And there's just so many music is coming out. And then, yeah, so... Uh, it's hard to release, and then I, yeah, I mean, for me, it's a relief. Finally, it's out. Like, I can present this music that present me uh, during that pandemic time. Yeah. So what are you hoping the listener gets from this album? Um, this album, it's a lot, uh, there are a lot of, like, uh, interesting, different, like, more complex forms and the rhythm, the uh the sonic experience and then i i'm trying to find a way to to fly freely like through all these like different uh rhythm and then the the melody forms so i think i want the listener to to hear to to hear this purpose also like a like different emotions uh throughout the pieces so what are you doing as far as live music? You know, we're kind of in the new year. We're getting ready to go into the warm months. How is all that working for you? Oh, yeah. I mean, I actually, I mean, just tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, tomorrow I'm playing with with uh, with my band, with this music at the, at the Bar by You. There's a, a very nice uh, jazz small venue in Brooklyn here. And then... After that, actually, next week, I'm going to a residency called U Cross in, in Wyoming for three weeks to, to write a new new project. And then I'm very looking forward to that. And after that, I'm also very excited. In March, I'm going to join VJ Iyer, pianist, to play a, a tribute music to Andrew Hill. Yeah, so I think that's about these three months that I'm, what I'm doing. Wow. 
Yeah, I caught DJ in Kansas City back, I believe, in 2018, probably around the time that we interviewed first, and he was he was amazing to see up front live. Yeah, I mean, I actually just got to see him at Rich Bengal yesterday. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, it was uh, sold out almost every yeah, night, wow. and yeah, very nice um, set. So, you know, as we're in this new year here, you know, I know that, you know, while the pandemic was going on, there was a lot of musicians she that were leaving New York, dressed. unclear based on the economics of jazz, if that was going to be their career. What's your sense right now of the jazz community? Do you see that it's no stronger than it was before, as no strong? How, how strong do you slogan. see it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think... Yes, I also considered that for for a little while, while the things are not so clear with the situation, because definitely in New York, a lot of clubs like didn't survive after the pandemic. So, although I mean there there are a lot of new things um, coming up now, and then, but. Just the when I talk to a lot of musician colleagues, we all feel like the actually the the work is is less than before. I think a lot of because of the travel expenses is higher now in general, so it's hard to be a tour, touring musician. Yeah, and then less opportunities, everything gets a little bit harder. Yeah. But I mean, I, I still, you know, like I think the cool things for for us, for like artists in New York, it's like, uh, it's the people, like the musicians, which like gather around here for for certain idea of creating things new and exciting. I think that things still stay the same. So I think like that's why a lot of people still stick around to to try to do a lot of music, try to meet new people, stuff like that. So it's pretty, that's pretty exciting to be able to go up and, and record this new album. When's, when's a tentative date that this one might end of this year or next year? Or what are you kind of looking at? Uh, yeah, I mean, this, the, I'm going to, to write the, 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 the material for the album. So hopefully, I mean, I'm ho- really hoping it can come out this year but but we will see <laughs> okay <laughs> because like okay. i mentioned like like i mentioned like the uh just a lot of uh i mean a lot of records are waiting for release so it's actually we need to wait in certain schedule so but yes i i really want to want to release another record which i have this project in mind for for a while already it's like a slightly larger ensemble. Excellent. So the new album, Liberated Gesture, is out on, on all platforms. What's the best way for people to buy it or find out about any live shows that are coming up and things, things happening with you? Uh, I think the best uh, platform to buy is still it's, it's Bandcamp. Yeah, like today is a Bandcamp Friday. And then, so yeah, you can get the, the digital or the physical copy through Bandcamp. And then, other than that, it's basically everywhere. So, the it's released on the Sunnyside Records. Excellent, Johan. Thank you so much for taking time out today. It's great to catch up with you. Have a great uh, time at the retreat and with all these gigs coming up. And and it's great to catch up with you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Joe. Bye. Take care. Thanks for listening and tuning in to another Neon Jazz interview, where we give you a bit of insight into the finest players and minds in Taiwan, New York City, Kansas City, and spots all over the globe giving fans all that jazz. And thanks to Yuhan for her time, energy, and cool. If you want to hear more Neon Jazz interviews, you can find us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Subscribe to us at YouTube, and for everything Neon Jazz, go to the neonjazz.blogspot.com. Until next time, enjoy the jazz, my friends.